Stage three is underway. Elliott with a great jump on the inside. He's going to take the lead away from Logano for the first time tonight. Logano's going to have to file it back into second. And Hamlin's around. He's into the wall. He collects the fuel of Busher's involved as well. And they're wrecking on the back straightaway. Busher, Bowman involved. Kyle Larson with some damage. Ryan Blaney involved. What a wreck on the back straightaway here at Texas. It's the first big wreck of the evening. And Denny Hamlin went right around into the wall out of turn two. Busher went around, went around again, tried to save it, and then got nailed from behind by Kyle Larson. Sent his rear wheels up into the air. Oh, and Hamlin went right around, lost the car. He collected his teammate, Martin Truex Jr. Blaney gets hooked and goes around. Man, what a wreck. And you just gotta wonder what caused it. I didn't see any contact between Hamlin and Busher there. But man, that was close. Maybe it was contact out of pit lane, maybe, at the end of stage two from Chase Elliott. That could have damaged uh, the left side of his car and maybe rubbed in a couple of fenders and cut down a tire. Debris definitely on the outside of turns one and two. That inside line has been used all evening. We've had that same issue at the IndyCar Series opener this year. Maybe it was contact right there out of pit lane. This would be Elliott's second incident with a Toyota driver tonight. Right there. That's mainly his left front, but maybe he could have gotten his left side. Yeah, right there. After the initial contact. Hamlin went right around. I don't think that's a case of him getting loose. I think that might be a tire be going down there. Man, what a wreck on this back straightaway. Taking a lot of good cars and a couple of playoff drivers at that. Denny Hamlin and Chris Buescher involved, the two front runners in the point standings heading into this race.